Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. It's Rudan TV. Now if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Now today's lesson is about again another episode of the Mama Galing Samat. But this time our focus is about quantal measures, specifically um Yes, there were three, right? As I mentioned in my other or my previous blog. But this time, we're going to focus on discussing percentile. Before we will have our, uh, our actual example, guys, let me just tell you something. First, that, well, when you talk about quantile measures, specifically percentile, yes, percentile allows the data set to be divided into 100 equal parts. In fact, we call it P1, P2, P3 until P99. Of course, when you talk about P100, it means the entire data set. So, what are you waiting for? Maka TV, let's go. Let's have an example. Okay, for solving percentile uh, value or percentile measure, let's uh, consider this problem. Angelica recorded a number of coffee shop that can cater a certain number of customers. Shown in the table, this is our given table. The problem asked is, here is, how many customers could you cater if you are in the 40th percentile rank or you belong to the 40th percentile of the distribution? Now, problems like this, since it, uh, it is about percentile, let me, just, uh, let me just start by introducing the uh, percentile formula or the formula to solve for percentile value. So you have P sub K equals LB plus, or that's the lower boundary, then K times N over 100. By the way, it's over 100 because we are talking about percentile. And when it's about percentile, as mentioned in the introduction, it allows or it divides the data set into 100 equal parts. That's why it's divided by 100. Okay, then minus C, F, B, all over frequency of um, P sub uh, K times I. Okay, so this is what we have. I'd like to remind you guys that formula is really needed. The right formula is needed in computing uh, percentile. Please do not mix up with quartal uh, formula and then percentile for if they serve their own purpose. You cannot mix it up. So let's continue with our computation with the right formula. So for this part, as soon as we have our formula to continue, we will just simply substitute the values. Now, quickly, just to recall you, we need class boundaries and then the cumulative frequency, the less than cumulative frequency. Now, how to fill this part of the table? Well, there are several videos that I have already posted and then you can go and check for how to complete columns like this in our frequency distribution table. Now, so far, first thing that we need is we will locate where is the 40th found or which interval in the interval here uh, we can find the 40th uh, percentile and to do that we do p sub k equals we locate p sub k, k where do you think this particular position is located in our given distribution now we follow k and over 100 so in this case our k that is we're looking for uh in this uh, we're looking for the 40th percentile so we're looking for p sub 40 so that is 40 and our n by the way sample size is 31 divided by 100 of course let's use our magic calculator so you have 40 times 31 Okay, divided by 100, that is 12.4. So, that is actually 12.4 here. That's not the 40th percentile value. But rather, that's the location. We will use this value here. We will locate this one using our cumulative frequency. That's why cumulative frequency from the very beginning is actually included in the table. 12.14 so technically 12.14 is in this uh, cumulative frequency 
because it's already BN. In fact, it's BN 12.4. Just in case you will encounter values here, for example, the value you will find here is 12, we cannot consider that one, but we will get the next because remember, 12 is not yet even 12.4. Meaning to say, the value that we're looking for is found in the next cumulative frequency value after the 12 because we're talking about 12.4, just in case. Okay, so we will highlight first this column or rather this row. Now we are anticipating that our piece of 40 is found in this interval between 11 to 20 meaning to say as to how many numbers of customers you can cater being a, co uh, a coffee shop that is uh, more likely between 11 to 20 customers that you can cater if you fall in the 40th percentile so next thing that we will do is we will now solve our actual value since we located already where, where we can find our 40th percentile so you have P sub 40 Okay, now the lower bounder of the highlighted uh, row here is 10.5. Let's copy that. That is our LB. Plus, of course, we have computed already this part, which is 12.4. We'll just copy that one, 12.4. And then the lower boundary of the interval, of this interval, is 5. So we will copy 5. And then the CFB, that's the cumulative frequency before. Okay, before uh, the interval that was highlighted here, which is 10. And then, our I, of course, is already identified, which is 10. Okay, we will now, okay, ka, let's solve first what's on the parenthesis or the symbol of grouping. So, you have 12.5 minus 4 divided by 10 times 10. Well, anyway, this is just 10. There's no need to actually, no need to calculate for this one. Anyway, but for the purpose of example. Anyway, our answer here is, okay, we can solve this one. You have 12.4 minus 5, that is 7.4, right? And we combine that now, that's 10.5 plus 7.4, you have 17.9. So, if we would approximate this one, P40 is uh, this value approximately that is 18. 40. So, the implication of this one, if you are found in the 40th percentile, meaning to say, you could or therefore you can, you can accommodate to 18 packs for this one. Uh, if you are lit, uh, located in the... 40th percentile in the distribution meaning to say as a coffee shop you can accommodate or you can cater uh, eight and, uh, 18 person okay as your customer okay with the result 17.9 you might be wondering why did we round it to the nearest whole number because remember our distribution is talking about customer so therefore we need to round it to the nearest whole number and in this case the answer is uh, 18 because if we rounded 17.9 the closest whole, num whole number is 18 and please do not forget again the right formula and also you notice that uh, the good thing about percentile uh, measure it's actually help you it will help you locate values that is uh, from a very uh, detail and like quartile it only measures the quarters like 25 quartile one the lower quartile uh, 50 the middle and then the upper quartile for the 75 percent but for the percentile it would allow you to uh, locate 40th percentile, 41st, although the values there, the result is very minimal and in the moment you round it, actually you will arrive with the same answer. But that's the good thing about percentile. It allows you to locate certain position that is of a very tiny detail. Because like I mentioned in the introduction, uh, percentile allows to divide the data set into 100 equal parts. Okay? So that ends our discussion about um, solving percentile. So if you have some comments, suggestions, please leave it in the comment section. And then uh, I would like also to invite you to uh, keep posted of all the videos that I'm going to upload uh, in the future. And with that guys, 
Bye for now and be safe.